Protests against a coal mine in a condemned German village are expected to peak this weekend. Riot police have moved into Lutzerat to remove protesters, trying to prevent the village's demolition to allow the mine to be expanded. Greta Thunberg is expected to join the demonstrations, along with other youth climate activists. Earlier, we spoke to one of the protesters leading the movement, Luisa Neubauer. The coal under the village is not needed to secure Germany's energy supply. So what is being made up here is this crisis narrative where the government comes up to tackle a crisis where the coal effectively just creates way more crises than we can ever tackle. Uh, Europe correspondent Adam Parsons is in Lutzerat and sent us this update a short while ago. Well, there really isn't much left of Lutzerat anymore. It's caught between two enormous developments. One is the Gatzweiler coal mine, which creeps ever nearer. And the second thing is all around us, the destruction uh, of this small village. Uh, you can hear diggers at the moment pulling apart buildings. Uh, and the third thing that is happening here is, of course, a huge police presence as the police try to get rid of protesters who have built barricades, who have put themselves up trees in order to try to stop uh, RWE, this giant energy company, seizing control uh, of this land. And of course, Lutherat has become a focal point of global interest in the questions around climate change, in energy policy, and also in that thorny question of why Germany, one of the richest countries in the world, has decided to continue expanding an enormous coal mine, and not just any old coal. This is lignite, the, one of the dirtiest fossil fuels imaginable. Now, the flip side of that is RWE says that Lutzerat has to go, but that five other villages uh, are going to be safe. Also, a lot of people pointing out that this is a result of Germany deciding to close down nuclear power stations a few years ago. And now, uh, like so many other countries, finding itself squeezed in its energy supply and turning once again uh, to coal. Those are all the theoretical questions, but this is what's happening on the ground. Destruction of a village, the wiping out of a place where people and families used to live. That is why thousands are gathering here today to protest against this. The reality is, though, it's very hard to imagine that Lutzerat will still be standing in a matter of weeks' time.